Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Centre says augmenting availability of corona vaccine and vaccination of vulnerable groups are topmost priority. IEC Bureau of Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Department warns against giving wrong personal information to contact tracing teams. Senior BJP leader Himanda Biswa Sarma sworn in as Chief Minister of Assam. A northeast frontier railway withdraws stoppage of passenger carrying trains at Dimapu station. As the number of COVID cases are on the rise, we appeal to our listeners to take all the precautions and all those above 18 years of age to get vaccinated without any hesitation. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, focus on hand and face hygiene and maintain a distance of two yards for social distancing. Now the news in detail. Centre has said that augmenting the availability of corona vaccine and completing vaccination of vulnerable groups are topmost priority of the government. In an affidavit filed before Supreme Court, it said COVID vaccine strategy of the government is formulated to address immediate, medium-term and long-term perspectives. On the immediate front, availability, augmentation and enhancement of vaccines and completing vaccination of vulnerable groups is the topmost priority, the affidavit said. It said pricing of vaccines is an important issue in medium to long term and government is making all efforts on national and international level in this regard. The government filed the affidavit in a case pertaining to the apex court taking sue motor cognizance on COVID-related issues. Information, Education and Communication, IEC, Bureau of Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Department, has warned against giving wrong personal information to contact tracing teams at the point of entry. Informing that some are providing wrong personal information, Deputy Director, IEC Bureau, Dr. Imkong Tamsa Longcha said, such practice adversely affect the surveillance activities to check the transmission of COVID-19 and is punishable under law. He said a COVID-positive person or close contact must cooperate with the civilians' teams and refrain from indulging in any practices endangering the community so as not to entail punishment under law. IEC Bureau further advised those who tested positive by any COVID-19 test to undergo home quarantine and isolation or get admitted instead of going again for a free test. The department requested the village councils and urban local bodies under the supervision of the district task force to continue to monitor strict adherence to quarantine norms and immediately report any breach of norms. Senior BJP leader Himantu Biswa Sarma was sworn in as the 15th Chief Minister of Assam today following all COVID protocols. He succeeded Sarbananda Sonova. Himanda Biswa Sarma was unanimously elected the leader of the BJP Legislature Party yesterday. His name was proposed by the outgoing Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal. Talking to newspersons after the oath taking ceremony, Sarma urged militant groups of the state to shun violence. He appealed Ulfa leader Baresh Parua to return to the mainstream. Sarma said that his government would take steps to fulfill poll promises. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio along with Mikhalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh and Tripura Chief Minister Biblap Kumar Deb also attended the swearing and ceremony of the Council of Ministers headed by Himanda Biswa. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio and Deputy Chief Minister Wai Patan congratulated the newly elected Chief Minister of Assam, Himanda Biswa Sarma. Modi expressed confidence that Sarma and his team will add momentum to the development journey of Assam and fulfil aspirations of the people. In a tweet, Chief Minister Rio expressed confidence that Assam will greatly benefit under Sarma's dynamic leadership. Deputy Chief Minister Button was said Sarma has been working tirelessly for the welfare of the people and the state and is set to scale newer heights under his exceptional leadership. Northeast Frontier Railway say that in view of the rapid increase in COVID-19 positive cases in Nagaland, the stoppages of all passenger carrying trains have been withdrawn at Dimapu station with effect from yesterday until further advice. Alternative stoppages have been arranged either at Bogachan or at Katkati purely on temporary basis. 
it stated that all up and down trains bound for Dimapu will stop at Bukachan, Katkati and Rangapaha railway stations. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on our YouTube channel, AIA News, Kohima. Nagaland today reported 133 COVID-19 positive cases, taking the state's total tally to 16,283. Dimabu reported 88 fresh cases, Kohima 13, Gifaren 9, Zonoputa 7, Mugutung 5, Peren 4, Woka 1 and 3 each were reported for Mon and Trensan. State Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pom in a tweet said, for the seven COVID patients have also recovered from the infection, 38 from Dimapu, 3 each Mugukchung and Woka, 2 from Twensang and 1 from Beren. Presently, active COVID-19 case in the state is 2,884. Bangyo informed that total COVID death in the state has gone up to 140 today. The minister said COVID death toll till yesterday was 130. Gifre District Task Force has resolved to close all shops in the district for 72 hours with effect from tomorrow in view of the rising COVID-19 cases in the district. Deputy Commissioner T. Wati Ayer said that COVID positive case in the district was only four, but after random testing was conducted, nine more positive cases were detected. Further trucks and other vehicles carrying commodities coming from other districts will be permitted for only 12 hours for unloading and are restricted to stay at Gifaret Town. I am informed that materials for the oxygen plant have arrived at Gifaret and it will take a month for the plant to be functional. The DC further said that only frontline workers alone cannot fight against the pandemic and called for collective effort of all the citizens. The country is witnessing a declining trend in the active number of COVID cases. And as a positive sign, with this, the COVID recovery rate of the country is also consistently improving. However, several states and union territories are still registering higher numbers of cases in the country. There are over 37 lakh for the 5,000 active cases in the country at present. So far, over 1 crore 86 lakh patients have already recovered from the infection. The country has registered over 3,66,000 new COVID cases in the last 24 hours. The Health Ministry has said that a total of 3,754 deaths have been reported in the country within 24 hours, taking the toll to over 2,46,000 across the country. Assam Rifles under the aegis of Headquarters Inspector General Assam Rifles North conducted various activities to mark the occasion of Mother's Day yesterday. On the occasion, Kohima Battalion of Assam Rifles conducted a plantation drive in Kohima Garrison following COVID-19 protocols. Sapling of taxes plant provided by Forest Department was gifted to mothers staying inside Kohima Garrison to be planted at their respective homes. The ladies also took this opportunity to connect via internet and convey their wishes to their relatives. Jalugi Battalion of Assam Rifles celebrated Mother's Day with pregnant ladies of Atipung Town, orphanage at Jalugi Village and villages of Denning Town in Beren districts. The programme featured special tree plantation drive and distribution of some essential household items to the villagers. Daily use essentials and first aid kits were also provided to the orphanage, homes and awareness on COVID-19 created among the children. Meanwhile, Gaspani Battalion of Assam Rifles felicitated the women folk of Nihoku and Zabza villages of Dimapu and Kohima districts. Gifts, including COVID preventive materials like masks and sanitizers, were also distributed. And now, 20 news here at the main points again. Centre says augmenting availability of corona vaccine and vaccination of vulnerable groups are topmost priority. IEC Bureau of Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Department warns against giving wrong personal information to contact tracing teams. Senior BJP leader Himanda Biswasama sworn in as the Chief Minister of Assam and North East Frontier Railway withdraw stoppage of passenger carrying trains at Dimapu Station. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. <laughs> 